Hello, everybody. Um, so we have the GoPro that you guys have seen footage of uh, attached to the car, which is great. The video quality is great. Audio, two thumbs down. So, and we haven't found an easy way to really attach like an external microphone to it. We have the audio, the PCI race radio, like the audio out connector, which is what you guys hear me talking on, us talking on. So we finally decided to buy a secondary camera so we could get like multiple angles of how much fun we're having with sound. So we got one that, you know, it was a, a less expensive model. We're hoping that it works out. So we're going to do an unboxing, a review. And, you know, so God, wish us luck. You know, when we uh, ride and Brandy records on her phone, we plug that audio cord into her phone, and that way we're able to record our conversation as well as the conversation between us and the other cars. Which you're welcome, by the way, because it's so great. I think it makes it more interesting uh, just riding alone. Some people put music over the well, top. Well, tell of us. It. I mean, you guys can tell us what you think. Do you it's, think it's more interesting to have audio? Yeah. I well, mean, we're, we're going to have it anyway, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, I mean, do you like it? We're definitely going to keep it in there. DVR 917 HD. Yes, <clears throat> that's it right there. So we didn't find anything great as far as a review actually going over this camera. What we're looking for is a camera that we can actually connect an external mic adapter to so that we can connect it to the audio. So you guys can hear all of our hilarious antics. Yeah. So Mostly we, me. Right. So we figured we'd take a chance on this one, try it out, see how it works, buy an adapter. Then I ran into a few other problems. We'll go over those uh, later, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and unbox it, take a look at it, and see if it's something that we might be able to use. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. It looks pretty cool. It's got a nice uh, <clears throat> waterproof case. I think it's supposed to be waterproof. Oh my God, thank God. So when I'm diving and stuff, right. finally I have a camera that I can dive it's, with. I think it's at least, at the worst, splash proof. Uh, We'll take a look. Let's see what's in the box. All this stuff that um, I will carefully read all of. So we're going to look at all the pieces that came with it. Then we're going to turn on the camera, take a quick little look at it. We will record some video at some point. We will add that video into this video and let you know what the quality was like and if we're going to keep it, if what you know, if we're, something we're going to use or if we're going to have to move on to something else. Okay, so here are the pieces. It comes with a uh, wall charger, a USB uh, cable that attaches to the wall charger and then to the camera. Looks like a strap uh, with this guy. I'm assuming that this must be, you attach this here, this wraps around, uh, I guess it wraps around a roll cage if you want, and this guy clips into it. It probably says what it's for, people, I mean, in the instruction manual, but you know. Yeah, we don't want to do all that. No, that's ridiculous. We don't have time for that. <laughs> These people have things to do. <laughs> Whatever. Come on. Uh, comes with a skeleton cage. Uh, comes with this handy dandy. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Which is kind of cool. You could, you know, you. I could? Wear this. Why could I wear it? Well, I guess I could wear it. You could totally wear it. Anyway, <laughs> so you can wear this guy and start and stop your recordings uh, during the middle of your adventures. Oh, yeah. Uh, it comes with this. I think this is a handlebar mount, and it has the 90-degree adapter, which you could add to this if you need need be. And also, by the way, these we've looked at these, and they are <clears throat> actually the same size and fit pretty good with GoPro uh, branded adapters, mounts. So if you're to purchase this camera and wanted to use GoPro uh, mounts, I think you would have no issues with that. Well, that's good uh, to know. Here's the battery. Does it here's only come with one battery, this kit? Comes and which one is this one again? This is the DVR 917 HD. Okay, 4K. Here's the camera <laughs> itself. Well, that's kind of cool. Let me see. Okay. Flip it the other way so I can get the name of it. So we're going to actually open up the battery put it in we uh, did charge the battery a little bit ahead of time that's because we are very proactive proactive and conscientious of people's time exactly these people don't have time <laughs> these people have time no time for instructions
Okay, so we're going to turn this guy on and see what it looks like. Ready? <gasps> I'm kind of excited. Here, get up closer so you can see the screen. Okay. I'm going to power it on. Ooh, we have a little Okay, I see it. Okay, so it's kind of cool. Uh, some of the buttons, it has uh, a menu button. And, and this is awesome because on the GoPro, I can never quite remember how to turn the Wi-Fi on. It's like, I don't know, a combination of this. You button. have to hit like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, yeah. uh, stop. I think what I figured out recently is I just hold both of those buttons and pretty soon it comes on and it seems like it starts I just usually blue. bang on it like a little bit. Or you have to go through this menu that you can barely, re barely read. It's rock solid once it's up and working. Except, you know, the app on the phone does disconnect. That's that's a common. Yeah. I think everybody knows about that that uses them. Anyway, so here's <clears throat> this guy, which you can see would be awesome. It has a Wi-Fi button. You just press it, and it turns Let me see on. what the Wi-Fi button looks like, please. I cannot. I didn't see it. Uh-oh. Low battery. Anyway. I thought, okay. So we let the battery go low, but when you push the Wi-Fi button, the Wi-Fi turns on. Oh. When you push the menu button, you get a menu. So there's no confusion. That is very nice. Convenient, I'd say. Exactly. Once you push the menu button, there's two menus, <clears throat> and you can switch between the two menus with the power button. Once you're in the menu you want to be in, you use the Wi-Fi. These act as up and down, and you scroll down through the menu. I'm sorry, that, that was incorrect. <laughs> Once you get in the menu, you use the, the Wi-Fi button to scroll down, and the OK to select that item. To say, like, OK, I want this. Got it. So we're gonna go back to menu and just quickly look at all the settings. It's gonna oh also this camera claims to have image stabilization, which I don't think is uh, something that's been common in GoPros until recently. Yeah, I don't think so either. Wait. Um. Okay. We have uh, so image stabilization. Image stabilization. Invert mode. Invert mode, which I'm assuming flips the image. That makes sense. Slow motion, built in. That's kind of cool. White balance. That looks like everything for that menu. Okay, so we're going to go back into menu. We're going to switch to the second menu. What do we have? Uh, power save. Date and time. Date and time, language. Light frequency. Why is it? Yeah. EN, English. So this camera would have a problem with your language and it would automatically beep you out that's kind of cool i don't have to do it yeah <laughs> shut up light frequency you know what wi-fi anyway so that's the basics what we're going to do now is we're going to put this thing to the test and we will throw that video up right here Mounted it on the dash of the truck. Just drove in the parking lot, you know, just to get an idea of what the video might look like. I noticed right off the bat, I don't know, it seemed like there was a lot of saturation. Um, the, the image looked really dark, but the biggest problem was actually more that there was, it seemed like a vibration in the, in the video. Yeah, you kept saying, why is it glitching? And I was like, oh, maybe it, you know. Yeah, it just looked strange. I don't know how to describe it. You can, you know, take a look at the video again. But, um, it's, I don't know, it wasn't horrible, but uh, even, you know, that thing was, I don't know, it was a hundred bucks for that camera. But even at a hundred bucks, I'm not willing to compromise. Well, I think it was on Best Buy side that had complaints about the battery time on that. I don't remember anybody mentioning the video quality. And uh, it did seem like Vivitar chimed in immediately, you know, get a hold of us and we'll resolve the issue. So, the, yeah, they seem pretty receptive or pretty responsive to people's complaints. And yeah. I don't know how that went after, but... Our problem is that uh, even at 100 bucks, I don't want to spend, you know, we don't have time to spend chasing down an issue. And if it has an issue immediately out of the box, I just don't think it's going to work out for us. Anyway, to summarize, it, it looks glitchy. It, it there's looks, the summary I get. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks like there's a vibration in the video. So I've thought about trying, uh, you know, some different settings, turning off video stabilization and whatnot, and it's seeing if that made a difference. But again, I don't think it's worth the time. If immediately, you know, you see vibration in the video, 
um, compared to a GoPro product where it's out of the box, I don't care what setting it's in, it looks, you know, you can tell it's quality. So we're gonna pass on this camera. Keep in mind, we're trying to keep this budget. Of course, we could go for the latest and greatest, the Hero 6, GoPro Hero 6, but we've been looking at another option, and that is the Sony action cams. Um, the HDR AS200 specifically. And then we also looked at the FDR X3000 VR, yeah. which the R is for the live remote, which is amazing, but I, that's kind of pricey. How awesome it is. Hey, I just 